In the week that Japan surrendered in 1945, Japanese Army Unit 731 was busy destroying evidence of its work. Seventy years later, the atmosphere here is still heavy with the terror and the torture of that time. Unit 731 compound is one of the most terrifying secrets in the 20th century. From 1939 to 1945, at least 3,000 people were killed here. As the site is now open to the public, we are seeing perhaps the most notorious wartime crimes in human history. Personnel posted at the unit here refer to those they experimented on as Maruta. In Japanese, this means logs. The unit experimented on anyone they could get their hands on. Chinese, Russians, Koreans, Mongolians, and even a few American prisoners of war. All fell victim to the so-called doctors at the camps. According to the testimony of Union 731 veterans, it was the top military base backed by the Japanese government. They were given a huge military budget and supported with the best equipment. For instance, the military spending of Union 731 accounted for about half of Japan's Kuntang army. Some of the numerous atrocities committed by the head of the unit, Shiro Ishii, and others under his command include vivisection, limb amputation, frostbite testing, and rape, syphilis, and forced pregnancy. And all of this was performed on people. The ultimate goal, to develop Japan's biological warfare program. This is a bacilli bomb designed by Shiro Ishii. The ceramic shell allows the bacteria to be quickly released into the air. The unit also tested on prisoners with bubonic plague, cholera, smallpox, botulism, and other diseases. After the war, the soldiers of the unit were ordered not to say anything about what they did. Even to this date, the Japanese government hasn't acknowledged Unit 731's atrocities, despite a lot of evidence discovered at the site. But there are still some Japanese who have chosen not to stay silent. The wartime crimes committed by Unite 731 had irreversible consequences on the Chinese people and victims of other nations, and only by honestly facing up to history can Japan have a future. As China marks the 70th anniversary of the victory in the war of resistance against Japan this year, the site has been renovated. People can see for themselves evidence from one of the darkest periods in human history. Guangyang CCTV, Harbin, Heilongjiang Province.